Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of Devotees of Jesus. This is your host, Julian Phillips. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, you are always available to us. Give us the grace to be aware of that, that at any one moment you are there, and we can lean in your direction. And please bless the words we are about to hear. Thank you and Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 28, verses 8 to 15. They left the tomb at once in holy fear, yet with great joy, and they ran to tell the news to the disciples. Then Jesus met them on the way and said, Peace. The the women approached him, embraced his feet, and worshipped him. Jesus immediately told them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While the women were on their way, the guards returned to the city, and some of them reported to the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests met with the Jewish authorities and decided to give the soldiers a good sum of money with this instruction. Say that while you were asleep, his disciples came by night and stole the body of Jesus. If Pilate comes to know of this, we will satisfy him and keep him out of trouble, and keep you out of trouble, sorry. The soldiers accepted the money and did as they were told. This lie has circulated among the Jews until this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In human anatomy, there is a group or family of muscles known as the hip flexors. This is the thing I want you to understand. A man or a woman can easily show you his or her biceps development. A man or a woman can easily show you his or her calf development. No man or woman can just so simply show you their hip flexor development. Why? Because for the most part, the hip flexors are invisible. You have to peel away the abs, remove the guts, and then you will see a muscle that has attachments on the spine and on the femur. So the hip flexor family, is the only family, well, specifically, I should say the psoas, is the only family that atta- is the only muscle that attaches to the spine and to the thigh. This muscle is essential for lifting your leg up. So think of soldiers marching very slow. The hip flexor is what raises that thigh that is in the air off the ground. Now, most athletes forget the ordinary person when training, totally neglect the hip flexors. Why? Simply because it can't be seen. I'm not talking about something like the biceps and calves that you can see. This can't be seen, but its action is obviously there. Every time you lift your foot up and to climb a flight of stairs, it's your hip flexors working. So all of that is to say this. We have the action of Jesus And it can't be seen. But not in this story. In this story, Jesus gives us a glimpse of himself. So, if you read the lines that come before this verse, there's an angel that comes to the tomb, the guards, for lack of a better word, are paralyzed by this occurrence. The women who are there mourning Jesus are told by the angel that he's risen and they go running off and then we pick up where it starts. They're running off in a fright, but at the same time with great joy. That means they're really headed in the right direction. And then Jesus pops up. Jesus pops up and he says, peace. And they worship him. Worship is fit for God and for God alone. These women worship Jesus because Jesus is God. Now, that whole hip flexor analogy was to say, we don't see Jesus like how these women saw Jesus. And obviously there's something special about this resurrected form because he's not a ghost Otherwise, they couldn't embrace his feet. Jesus doesn't appear to us such that we can embrace him. But just as 
we clearly identify the action of the hip flexors, though we don't see them. We know Jesus is there by certain actions. So, for example, whenever you are happy, or should I say, whenever you make a choice to focus such that you become happy, Jesus is there. Whenever you find peace, notice he says peace, Jesus is there. Whenever you are enthusiastic, remember we said before enthusiasm means to be full of God, Jesus is there. He is there in these three scenarios, happy, peaceful, enthusiastic, even though we don't see him. So what we have to tell ourselves from now, when I'm happy, when I'm peaceful, when I'm enthusiastic, it's like me lifting my leg up to climb up the stairs. That, that act of being happy, the action of being happy, is the sign of the spiritual hip flexor at work. And the spiritual hip flexor at work, in this case, is Jesus. Now, some of us have been climbing stairs so often we've been doing it automatically. Think of a baby now learning to walk. A baby who is going upstairs normally needs to hold the hand of an adult or if there's a railing or a wall to lean on. And in going upstairs, he has to consciously lift his leg up and then plant it on his step. So as we are all spiritual children, let's see ourselves as babies climbing the stairs. If we want, we can still go up on all fours. But we can exercise the hip flexors, translation, we can exercise Jesus and consciously put it into gear. So we are so unlike the bicep, which I can flex and see, the hip flexor I can contract, although I don't see it. When I choose to be happy or to think about a thing that will make me happy, I am flexing Jesus, if you will. Now, at the same time, let's get more into it and talk about walking. Walking upstairs, for example, is forever a process of hip flexion and hip extension. So, I raise my thigh up. That's the hip flexion. And then when I lower it such that my foot makes contact with the step in front of me, that is hip extension. Let us say hip extension are those moments when we're not feeling happy, when we're not feeling peaceful, when we're not feeling enthusiastic. Well, then, you know what happens? With my left leg, if I use the hip flexor, raise the left leg up, and then with the same left leg, use the hip extensors to lower it down, what happens? The right leg flexes up. Life is an alternation between moments of high joy and moments that are very, very mild, very, very quiet. In the alternation, so when we go from happy to not happy, what we must tell ourselves is that this is going to come, this is going to be succeeded by a moment of hip flexion, a moment of Jesus. So there are moments when we exercise Jesus, and then there are moments when we don't exercise Jesus. There are moments when we flex Jesus, and then there are moments when we relax Jesus. When we relax Jesus, you know why that is still good? It lets us know, let me flex Jesus again. So as I said in a previous episode, all of life is made of blessings. Obvious blessings and blessings in disguise. The obvious blessings come to us when we flex Jesus. The blessings in disguise come when we relax Jesus. Either way we win. Praise Jesus. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us.